Hello and welcome to another episode of Friday Fly Day. Today we are tying a olive perdigon fly. Let's get on to it. So I've got the hook and the vise. It's a size 12 Kumo nymph hook. And I've got a 3.5 millimeter slotted tungsten bead here. I'm just going to start by laying a base of olive thread. This is from Royal CC. I'm just going to capture that slotted bead there with the thread. And then I'm going to use the tag end to create a very nice, neat base layer of thread. If you hold the tag at 45 degrees, you'll see that it creates a very nice base of thread. Okay, keep this neat because this uh, is going to be a thin profile fly and we want to keep that thin. For, for the tail, I'm using some mottled hackle feathers, about four or five fibers. Uh, ideally, you'd be using Coq de Leon for this. This is what the these flies normally have. So I'm going to measure that against the hook shank, transfer it. I want it about the same length as the hook shank. And I'm going to try and capture these with as few as possible wraps. Lay it neatly. It'll kind of help to create that taper. Go back to paste there, and then I'm going to get one wrap underneath the tail. Okay. Splay it open a bit. I'm going to get my wire rib. I'm using side by 0.2 millimeter silver wire. And I'll just lay that on my side of the hook. Again, trying to keep those thread wraps neat as I can. Going all the way back. Now I'm going to start building a taper in the body. Very slight taper. And just using the thread to create that very slight taper. It should be enough there. Now I'm going to wind the silver wire. Trying to get three or four wraps up the body. Okay, capture that there. Try not to use too many wraps. And I'm going to snip this off instead of helicoptering it off. Okay, now I'm going to whip finish this thread. Okay, and I'm going to change thread. Now for the hotspot, I'm using Viva's Power Thread in hot orange, 140D, but you know 70D would probably be better. I'm just going to create a bit of a hotspot there. I'll trim that off, nice and close and neat. Okay. And I'm going to use a bit of super glue to secure this um, because this thread can unwrap fairly easily. So I'm just going to put a bit of super gel super glue on, on there. And then I'm just going to do a couple of whip finishes. And that will secure it in there so it doesn't unravel. And again, snip it off real nice and close because you don't want to create a ugly tag there. Now I'm coming in with the Loon UV fly finish in thin and I'm just going to put a thin coat of UV fly finish over the body here. All you need to do is just cover the rib and the body. Not looking for a huge amount here. Get a nice smooth coat. Okay, and now I'm just going to hit it with the UV light to cure that UV fly finish.
as I rotate it around in this Stone Creek rotary vise, which you can get from Isla Fly Fishing along with all the materials and things. Okay, that should do it. Yep. Now, what I'm going to do, instead of using a colored UV fly finish, I'm actually just going to draw the wing case with a permanent marker on the top. Okay. And then all you need to do is come in with your same UV fly finish thin and just put a dab on the top there. To do the wing case. And then you can just hit it with a UV light. Make sure everything is nicely hit. You can see how that hot orange thread glows with the UV light. Okay, that should secure it there. And there you have it, our olive perdigon fly. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more, please consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.